Get to know the capital of South Korea like the back of your hand before you get there. Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we're presenting our Traveler's Guide to Exploring Seoul. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're highlighting some of the most interesting, vibrant, and exciting areas, neighborhoods, streets, and villages to help you get the most out of your time in Seoul. Dongdaemun Market Dongdaemun Market is a booming shopping area and must visit for anyone traveling to Seoul. It's a shopper's paradise and operates on a scale that's actually hard to process. Across roughly 10 square blocks, you'll find over 26 shopping malls and somewhere in the ballpark of 30,000 to 35,000 retail stores. Here, shoppers can find just about anything and everything one could possibly want, from electronics and toys to major brands, high-end fashion and accessories. When you need a pick-me-up, be sure to check out the Mukja Gwilmok, Dongdaemun's ever-popular food alley. And at the center of the district, you'll find the Dongdaemun Gate, from which the area takes its name. Iwa Mural Village Located north of Dongdaemun between Dongdaemun Station and Chehua Station, the Iwa Mural Village is definitely a change of pace and scenery. Not so long ago, the Iwa Tong was scheduled to be demolished due to widespread poverty and crumbling infrastructure. In 2006, however, the Ministry of Culture, Sports, and Tourism executed a plan to not only save, but also to revitalize the neighborhood. The strategy? Take this neighborhood in need and turn it into one of the most beautiful and inspiring areas in the city. The Iwatong Naksan project saw some 70 artists give the area a substantial facelift via murals and art installations. And so, the Iwa Mural Village was born. Unfortunately, this newfound popularity has not been without cost. Overcrowding and noise have become serious problems for residents of the area. In Zatong, since we're going to be hearing the word a lot today, we thought we'd clarify that the word Tong does indeed mean neighborhood. And while Inza Dong is just one of many neighborhoods that make up Seoul's Cheongno-gu district, it's among the most popular areas in the city due to the fact that it feels very rooted in traditional Korean culture. Whereas Dongdaemun Market is jam-packed with modern offerings, the storefronts that line the bustling main street in Zadonggil skew heavily towards cultural items, like paintings, sculptures, tea, calligraphy tools, folk art, and other such traditional goods that are so intimately intertwined with the country's history. Regardless of budget, it's a great place to window shop, and the street food in the neighborhood is fantastic. Solo 7017 Seoul is a fascinating and vibrant city, but when you're in the thick of things, it can often be difficult to get your bearings, and at times, even a bit claustrophobic. And that's what makes Solo 7017, also known as the Sky Park or Seoul Sky Garden, such a great addition to the city's landscape. Similar to the High Line in New York City, this elevated linear garden makes use of old infrastructure and gives it a fresh lease on life. Whereas the High Line was once a railway, Solo 7017 is actually a repurposed section of highway overpass. Running for more than 3,000 feet through the city center, Solo 7017 makes for a beautiful and verdant walk. Nami Island If you enjoy the greenery of the Sky Park, you will absolutely fall in love with Nami Island. Technically speaking, it's not part of the city, but it is considered a must-visit for anyone heading to South Korea's capital. Think of it as a mandatory day trip. And given that it's easily accessible via public transit or shuttle bus, it's not a difficult outing to plan. Among the most popular attractions in all of South Korea, Nami Island is a unique slice of natural beauty year-round, each season boasting a different picture-perfect color palette. So get away from the crowds for an afternoon and enjoy the simple pleasures of strolling the tree-lined paths, serene waterfront, and gardens. Fans of Korean dramas in particular will enjoy visiting the island, as it served as a shooting location for the hugely successful series Winter Sonata. Hongdae With not one, two, or three, but four universities nearby, Hongdae is arguably the city's trendiest, most forward-thinking neighborhood. If you want to experience the cutting edge of South Korean pop culture, this is where you will find it. Yes, it's a student neighborhood, but it's also so much more. A young traveler could easily spend their entire trip here. The indie music scene played a big part in shaping the area starting in the 1990s, and Hyundai's status as the place to be for art, entertainment, and underground culture has only continued to grow and evolve ever since. Though gentrification is changing the neighborhood, an artistic spirit perseveres. In short, this is where South Korean trends are born. Gangnam. Well, this neighborhood certainly requires no introduction. 
thanks to the mega-hit Gangnam Style by South Korean K-pop star Psy, this trendy neighborhood now enjoys immediate name recognition the world over. The district is the third largest in the city, and its name, Gangnam, means South of the River, a reference to the Han River which cuts through the city. In case Psy didn't already make this clear enough, Gangnam is known for its wild nightlife and booming club scene. If you're the type to dance the night away, this is the place to do it. It also happens to be home to the largest underground mall in the world, Starfield Coax Mall, Myeongdong. We recognize that shopping has come up a lot on this neighborhood guide, but the reality is, if you're planning a trip to Seoul, shopping is likely part of the appeal. The city has, in recent years, become one of the biggest shopping destinations on the planet. Located in the Chung District, Myeongdong is relatively small, but it sure packs a whole lot of commerce into its modest footprint. Here, you'll find all the major brands and retailers, including the more high-end and prestige ones, earning its main street the distinction of being among the most expensive global shopping hubs. Though you'll find plenty of fast food and franchises here, the street food game is also on point. Just be warned, the streets get jam-packed with shoppers. Then again, the crowds are part of the experience, right? Moon Market As we've seen, if you want to get a real feel for a city's culture and food, you've got to go to their major markets. And in Seoul, Moon Market is as historic as they come. It takes its name from the main gate of the old city, which it sits next to, and the market itself dates all the way back to 1414, though it has naturally undergone many changes over the centuries. Today, much of the open-air market is open 24 hours and is home to somewhere in the ballpark of 10,000 shops and stalls. In terms of what you can buy here, the sky is the limit. Jewelry, knickknacks, luggage, kitchen tools, toys, bedding, clothing, they've really got it all. But the star attraction at Moon Market, many would argue, is the food. Not only is the produce awe-inspiring in its abundance and variety, but the countless street food vendors make it a foodie's dream. Pukchuan Hanok Village Seoul is, in most ways, a very modern destination. And yet, within the city limits, one can essentially travel back through time roughly 600 years. Pukchuan Hanok Village is located between three major sites, Kwambokung Palace, Changdeokun Palace, and Changmyo Shrine. But this neighborhood is a destination in its own right. Here, the narrow alleyways are lined with traditional Korean houses known as Hanoks, many of which date back centuries. And while people are leading regular lives and running businesses out of these structures, when you're strolling through the village, one can't help but feel utterly untethered from the modern age. Many travelers list Pukchuan Hanok Village among their favorite experiences in Seoul. It's an incredible cultural experience, a history lesson, and a photographer's dream. Just remember to enjoy the village in a way that's also respectful to its residents. Happy exploring! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Mojo Travels. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.